Yes. Right. Good evening. Thank you so much for taking out your time and uh, being here. Yes, uh, it's a sad day for us. Uh, uh, we've lost one of the great leaders uh, in the industries. But nevertheless, yes. we have to, uh, our homages to uh, our, I call him Sir Ratan Tata Ji. Uh, I had the honor of working in Tata's for a long duration. But thank you. Thank you so much for taking out your time and wow. uh, uh, being yeah. part of this. Uh, so, yeah. So, you both are professional. Yeah, it's and our pleasure have... too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, guys, to just to give you a background, here are two professionals who understand the mental mindset of a person and uh, we are here to decode how can sustainability and mental health are correlated to each other so we have two eminent speakers with here who are uh, there Doc, uh, I want them to introduce themselves because it's not right, right on my path because I am rarely educated person than two highly inter, uh, educated intellectuals out here. So I request, uh, ma'am, doctor, please introduce yourself for the audience so that they can enlightening, uh, have a conversation with you. Yeah. Akshay, you are very modest to, to, to say that. Uh, I'm Dr. Sunita Pandit. Uh, I'm an embryologist practicing since 20 years. Uh, I'm from Pune. And uh, uh, also I've pursued uh, MA Psychology. And it's really helping out. Uh, practice in fertility counseling and oh. relationship counseling as well. Thank Wonderful. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, taking out your time and being part of this. Yes, can we have the other lady up? Thank you. Yeah. Hello. I'm Apurva Gadgir and I am uh, pursuing my MA Psychology and I've done B Biotechnology. So, uh, so that is a good combination for here about the topic that we're having, <laughs> sustainability and mental health. So Why first of all, it? happy uh, World Mental Health Day to both of you. Thank you. Oh my God, <laughs> Mental yeah, Health you. Day. I think that is something uh, it's rarely, rarely appreciated and celebrated. Yes. Uh, I feel. Uh, I I think mentally I'm fine. Is accepting that fact. To ourself is the first defeat to this day itself. Uh, that yeah. Uh, yeah, accepting that we are all not fine, and there is someone to speak to, and there is uh, not always all the wounds are out in open and shown. There are few yes. wounds that needs to be healed in a different way. Wonderful physical wounds. Can yes. be um, seen, but not mental wounds that can be so seen such in a short time. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that Thank is why awareness so. is to be brought. Uh, awareness is required yes. in the society. We have taboo about uh, mental health issues. Yes. Still, still uh, people are not uh, easily outspoken towards it. I think that is it's where a, we are. Like, we are touching on two subjects where both of the subjects need awareness to be created. When we are talking about sustainability, that is also a subject where awareness has to be created. And we are talking about mental health, that is also a topic where awareness has to be created. Because uh, uh, I think I, both of you, do you know what is Earth Overshoot Day by any chance? No. Okay, to just to give you a background. It's just recently, all of <laughs> Oh, please, please, ma'am, please, ma'am. Yeah, we have heard it very recently, like uh, just two, three days back. That's it. Like we are not aware. We, yeah, we share don't it. know the exact meaning of it. So Earth Overshoot Day is basically the optimum utilization of resources is the basic crank of it. So the resources that were supposed to be used by the mankind 
assuming this year 2024 we were supposed to use the natural resources by 31st december 2024 we have used it the resources on 28th july our 1st of august 2024 itself so there is a physical deficit of 5 months already that we have the way we are using that resources uh, uh there is a great line which has been told by a uh, uh, some that uh, there is always for him whatever is needed for a man's need is available but not for a man's greed i think we have become very greed greedier that we are using all the resources not leaving anything for the next generations so how do you find ma'am uh, that this this mental health and sustainability uh, is a mindset i feel uh, in most of the people to be brought a change in how do you find this mindset can be improved by accepting what yes uh, then uh, this can be looked upon in various aspects right from school days like uh, and first teacher of a child is the mother mother you can say family they should uh, imbibe themselves that how important uh, our mother nature is and how it provides for us for our upbringing and for our wellness mental and physical both and there then the child goes to the school where the teacher takes on the role and further uh, during the college days the awareness um uh, come to light and uh, that is how the future citizens will uh, be uh, educated towards uh, uh, our uh, preservation of our environment for the next generations this these are uh, awareness uh, program should be conducted from right from the school days which are already been done but i think extensively they need to be taken seriously as well like it should be involved in the curriculum i think approve on so add something point, more yeah adding to this point uh, mm. even in our culture if you see uh our some of the festivities have in general uh, we bow down to nature such as nagpanchmi if you see uh bail pola in marathi it is called as bendur uh it's called uh, uh, then these things are we bow down to the mother earth or we bow down to the animals that we uh, rear for our living so it is imbibed in our nature it's just that our mindset has changed a little bit in this 21st century which we have become i uh, from we so this is what is i wanted to add i think you touched on wonderful points out there i i want to ask uh, doctor uh, what do you feel of there is a word running out there called eco anxiety it does that ring some bell to you and how do you define eco anxiety out of there yes uh, this goes from from your house to your society uh, furthermore on the uh, grounds like you can say traffic in the uh, corporate se- sector if you talk about urban uh, area if you go to rural area there are like fields which are full of uh, pesticides chemical fertilization deforestation there is no there are no shades and the houses are cement and bricks mainly which earlier was like mud houses which was very eco friendly cool we never required acs coolers and again they have after effects of these uh, appliances which you use in the household which emit certain gases now uh, apurva is an engineer she will be better <laughs> educated to I'll throw some light on this how appliances emit like very poisonous gases like um, co2 and nitrous oxide these gases so this is how i would like to 
uh, throw light on this like this affects your mental state if uh, there is a lot of noise in the crowd traffic uh, everywhere that again this uh, causes anxiety in the person's mind if there is a, a, a lot of noise in the house the TVs and the appliances, the gases, the hormones which we secrete, they get depleted yes. and then the chemical the substances person slowly, yeah, per, per, person's activity, their enthusiasm, it comes down. A dose, these are the hormones which are very positive hormones, they get affected, dopamine, oxytocin, um, serotonin and endorphins. Yeah. So, so these are the hormones which get affected, and that's how we uh, are affected mentally as well. Apurva, you want to say something? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Hello. The mindset, basically, uh, the eco anxiety mindset, uh, which is happening uh, nowadays, like. Uh, the rural population going to the urban areas, that is more. Uh, they don't want farming to be done. Uh, especially I come from a small town, so I uh, like realize it more. So um, the rural population, they don't want farming to be done because there is no money in it. So they for easy money, they are going into the urban areas. They are going for the easy money to get into so uh, this is also affecting our nature and they have, they want fast money out of the chemical fertilizers that are, that are being used in the farming as well the very harmful chemicals are uh, going th through the uh, i mean um, soil to the rivers so rivers uh, f flora and fauna is affecting so much so i think this is all uh, interrelated to the, I mean, humans are uh, creating a havoc. I mean, uh, seriously, uh, creating a torture to the uh, ecosystem. My God, it is like uh, emotional uh, oh, overwhelming coming out here, and you giving <laughs> us the guilt and responsibility <laughs> together, and helplessness, <laughs> and uh, the impact o over the youth and the lives of us. And uh, in, you, you basically eco anxiety. I, I would, if I have to put it in a small line for me, what I've understood from both of you, eco anxiety can refer to a fear, uh, in uh, which relates to environment, uh, and also climate change, uh, and also manifesting the feeling of helplessness and grief. This is what what I could uh, compile of what uh, both of you have told. It is about the entire thing of uh, my God. I think uh, this is something which yeah. uh, I have never exposed to, uh, but a very valid point and a very good uh, the approach towards this has come down. So yeah, let's come down to another question because I find this is going to go an interesting way. Can you both explain me how physiological impact uh, happen on uh, climate change and uh, environmental uh, degradation on an individual? It's a very specific individual level question I'm asking so that how can a person make a switch? Yes. Yeah, the very first point I would uh, highlight is the uh, utensils and the glasses and the uh, things we use is all very harmful. The aluminium kadais to the uh, cups which we use for tea, disposable, the, the air fryers, refrigerators, all these uh, appliances which we use are very harmful to our uh, body. They affect us and the carcinogenic changes occur in our body. So this, uh, like, it's instant ka zamana. So if we need instant food, we use microwave. This mentality should come down. Like, uh, yes, we need to have that dedication to give some time in kitchen or take a help from 
house made and prepare it in the mitti cool utensils use good uh, bottles copper bottles or bamboo bottles for water and discard plastic avoid using plastic use biodegradable and uh, using too much of clothes or holding of uh, your cupboards with different brands so that also um, causes too much of pressure on the textile industry that it's demand of people for due to fashion they buy again and again and they just pile up the clothes so that is again overload of uh, the uh, environment they have to uh, the farmers have to produce more and more of cotton the in textile industries have to uh, this is one part again uh, branding brand which we use that we should come down because for the brands we have to earn lot of money and then the greed of for money increases or uh, all the shortcuts come in so if we our greed comes down our contentment satisfaction is there in our mind mental satisfaction for anything our greed will come down so the self regulation is required in every human being so that comes from uh, right from childhood it's necessary i think so these I are few points to... which... yeah please please yeah. go ahead yeah please ask. i would like please to ask. add some some points on oh. this uh, like personally uh, there should be a clarity like even uh, while buying clothes or uh, even to be brand free and uh, personally i had one experience that i was eating when uh, biscuit uh, i uh, popular biscuit brand i was eating one day and uh, there was a plastic I mean, such a small plastic in it that i was going to consume i suddenly realized i was i'm having that uh, plastic into my mouth so i uh, got it out oh. and i realized that so much of microplastic that uh, we must be having in our bodies that we we have, we have not imagined that <laughs> i guess dr sunita don't you feel that Wow. Yes, think, yes, uh, definitely. These yeah. ice creams and all, like, if you think of the particular eatables, we are very crazy about ice cream. The where where does the milk come from? The cows <laughs> and buffalo. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> it gets oh, a lot of hormones. So and so to... see again, it's carcinogenic. So this milk. <laughs> Wonderful. So just to summarize, what? So what? My, I'm why am I summarizing each question is that. the discussions can happen for hours together to just to give that crisp uh -huh. understanding for people is so what i have understood is that the environment plays a significant role in our mental health well being uh and uh, i think the way you mentioned about the pollutions the noise the level of green spaces uh have in, have increased the level of uh, stress in an individuals uh also uh, i think uh, that is one of the key sectors where the mental health is uh, getting affected and if you that is uh, that is one of the examples when you go down to a quieter place or do meditating you feel relaxed you feel yes. uh is that i think uh, the question uh, answer is guys reduce the pollution uh, uh, content in your locality find that quiet and comfortable pace for yourself to heal not only the environment but also yourself i think that's uh, the key underlining uh, example for it uh, ma'am uh, yes. if i have to yes. go down yes. to uh, another question out here how do you feel these days uh, so you would be interacting with multiple people who so would are coming around i think one of the major anxiety issues yeah. that uh, i feel of most of the people in these days is uh, that they have lost mm -hmm. that touch of community it is all yes. me it is not we so how how do you feel yes, that right, right how do you feel that because uh, keeping up upkeeping of all this environment yeah. is are doing clean ups are being part of this it's a community activity yes as an individual are the contributors 
uh, to it but as yeah. a community we are something which yeah. we can make a bigger difference to it is there something that you want to add in this definitely when there is unity we can make it when we are alone we cannot do things uh, better so united we stand it's going to create new world for us so uh, i would like to highlight on this that uh, if uh, we uh, cut down our social media which is you can say boon and bane <laughs> <laughs> youngsters should be uh, gathered together with uh, these volunteering programs in which we can uh, do cleanliness uh, programs right from our society where we live to the uh, common places like gardens rivers this can be done in the cities as well like we can uh, run uh, these volunteering programs through colleges children can be um, brought together through nss ncc and uh, of course teachers will have to motivate to uh, the children towards this uh, and because it's going to benefit them in future so them and their children again generations ahead because uh, greenery clean water all this affect our mental health it gives us peace green color is very soothing for eyes when we go to mountains up in himalayas it is a meditative state of our mind it gives us a, a happiness from inside i think i have given the uh, the answer of this question yeah i, I think that is the reason we are, i think we as we have chosen the switch eco color also in green and yellow where green talks about uh, having <laughs> it's that it's soothing uh, soothing feel to it and elo is the focused approach towards it is and a bright like sun but yes to again summarize the point uh, when individuals okay. participate in a community sustainability okay. efforts they often experience a social connection uh, when every sundays uh, we do lake clean up activities and uh, uh, i tell uh, the volunteers who come down mm. and uh, the all the others by mm. that i think this has become our meditation this has become uh, this space has become our own uh, way of thanking the environment and thanking ourselves that we are able to go yes. get inside that water mm -hmm. clean that up cleaning mm -hmm. that area i think that is an uh, kind of a, a profound uplifting of individuals uh, that we are going through yes. uh when we are part of a, a community uh, there are small kids who join us along and the kind of uh, roasting is done on the environmental side to all the uh, oldies like me uh, actually brings up a different communication and approach wonderful wonderful ma'am thank you thank you so I much i would just like to uh, i like this uh, this culture should be brought up uh, very profoundly very true uh, very true i i think mindfulness and nature are uh, something that needs to be embedded in the early ages in school so yeah. how mindful it's expressing are... gratitude yes 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 so this gratitude. this this is an overall uh, uh, experience that brings into us a uh, kid definitely makes uh, them more compassionate about the environment and the surroundings and i think uh, that, that will also bring in towards uh, bringing more compassion they being more compassionate toward themselves and also to the society around so yes. that is one of the key element i feel is been missing uh, after yes as you were likely mentioning the social media being a boon or ban that compassion uh, level has gone uh, today these days people don't want to get married they don't want to have uh, they don't want to go out and do uh, uh, a lot of activities clean up activities everyone just wants to stay in their room play with their xbox or nintendos they don't want to play go out and start actually play i think these days parents should force their kids to go out and make their hands dirty earlier in our age there used to be having complaints that we are making our hands dirty i think uh, i would have an anxiety if uh, kids would not have these days because that's something which they need to do it
uh wonderful so this is the point of eco anxiety yes. because if we touch the mud you touch see our culture says it's mother earth correct we uh, we relate it as a mother and right. mother always take care of her children so that very, is our mitti mein khelo so mitti will take care of you very immunity our immunity very, increases yes yes i think very and well said i uh, we and uh, nature are not uh, two other parts we are part of the nature that we have forgotten somehow very so true. that should be uh, imbibed in the children i feel very true. i think it is not only the children or uh, right now everyone has even adults all of yes. us uh, mm-hmm. age is just a number uh, mindset is what yes. has to change uh, is what i feel uh, any last final submissions from your end what is that you want to tell on this world uh, mental health day to all the people uh, a small submission from both of you yeah Right. go out uh, interact with people like all of all the age groups go out in open spaces gardens interact with people laugh of joke watch watch the environment like how the flowers bloom how the birds are flying there are different colors learn photography do sailing fishing so this will have connection with the mother earth expressing gratitude and worshiping the mother earth this is how we'll have connection with the mother earth and that is how the uh, um, affection too will increase towards our environment and our uh, universe as well and then the feeling comes that yes we need to say this we need to keep this beautiful we need to keep our surroundings beautiful and green because it gives us happiness after all we live this life for happiness contentment in the end before going like passing away from this earth and giving back to the society lastly is self actualization which we yearn for during our last days so this is how we can uh, go towards self actualization giving back to the society right. next generations as well wonderful man thank you thank you so much yes please and uh... from my point of view i think uh, we have all done with all intelligence iq 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 that's the time to have <laughs> some eq as well that is intelligence of emotional <laughs> level so okay. and yes. if that increases even more the place will be happier mm-hmm. the environment will be happier in at your home at your gardens uh, or, or everywhere yes. so i feel that is very important i think yes so the dose which like hormonal dose is required yeah. <laughs> i think it is right <laughs> all the happy only... hormones <laughs> wonderful one i e e it is not only for e also stands for environment environment oh, yes. is also uh, are taken care as we so just to conclude on this uh, really thank you both of you Uh, who have taken the time out uh, later this late this evening and uh, uh, had the opportunity of sharing your views on this day uh, thank you so much doctor for being part of this and uh, i think definitely uh, with you. the kind of discussion yes this is something which we have started right now this has to be uh, or regular conversations happening on uh, the way people have chai pe charcha there should be charcha on uh, mental health and environment both together that guys just a small submission from my end for all of you who are listening to this mental health issues are there kindly accept it and you have people out there to help you support you guide you mentor you and to help you cherish your life please understand it do not do not go in your own ways there are people to help you out to guide you it might be on the health side or it might be on the environment side please stay safe please stay healthy thank you so much thank you so much both of you thanks sir thank you thank you thank you akshay for having us here thank, thank you so much. good day bye